So sometime last week, I noticed one of my drives had about 4,000 errors on it, and then Unraid had actually disabled it because of some problems the drive was experiencing. I went ahead and did a smart scan, and it was revealed that there was about 32 relocated sectors, which is not terrible, but is also kind of high for my liking. And during that time, it also failed again, or I shouldn't say failed, it got disabled again. So now it brought me to the point where I actually have to do something about it. And thankfully, as you guys have probably are tracking or know of, Best Buy had a sale on some of their 10 terabyte Western Digital Easy Stores. And what's really cool about that is I was able to pick up this 10 terabyte drive for about 180 bucks. So we're gonna put this in the Unraid server. And um, this, so this is gonna replace one of the parity drives on my Unraid server. And then the eight terabyte that's in parity right now is gonna be moved over to replace this five terabyte. So this is actually gonna take a lot of time because this drive, even though it's pre-cleared already, is gonna to have to be rebuilt for parity. And that's gonna take a long time because it's 10 terabytes. And then it's gonna to have to uh, come, or the server's gonna to have to come down again because we're gonna to have to move the eight terabyte drive in place of my five terabyte drive that is failing. And we've gotta do all of this in hopes of that that five terabyte drive doesn't fail while we're rebuilding parity or really at all. But thankfully we have dual parity set up so I don't think I'll lose any data. I don't think. But anyway, let me just show you guys on here what I'm kind of looking at. All right, so if we look at the disk right now, we see that um, it's actually this disk here. It's actually doing okay on its own. Uh, there's no reported errors at this time. It's getting pretty filled up. Um, and yeah, I don't know, not much to see. So let's go ahead and look at the disk itself. We'll scroll all the way down towards the bottom. And what do we see? Thankfully, Unraid does this now. So it's actually highlighting the real reallocated sector count for us here and letting us know that there's a problem and it's showing us that we have a raw value of 32. Now I could have swore these values here were supposed to uh, count down when or count up I don't know one of the two count up or down if you have problems but that doesn't appear to be the case so I'm severely mistaken here and another thing I don't know if these values really matter because I don't really know what seek error rate is or what um, this reallocated event count is, which seems to be at zero, if I'm reading that right. And then also whatever this multi-zone error is, I, I don't know what all these exactly mean, but you know, just based off of my experience with, with uh, oh, there's actually even says errors occurred, check smart report, awesome. Well, my experience so far has, and obviously some of the warning signs I'm seeing is telling me this drive is failing and is on the verge of death. Uh, maybe not necessarily death, but unusability. And we've got a we got a solid four years out of it uh, with Unraid. This hard drive has literally traveled around with me from, let's see, uh, several moves in Georgia uh, to Virginia, and then to Florida, and then of course here to Alabama. And then that time it's been in maybe five or six different servers. It was in a Qantas server. No, it was in a custom server, and then the Qantas servers. And then that was, it was in there for a while. And then we went to um, maybe a Dell server and then back to a custom server. And it's been in that custom server, Transensia, for quite a while now. So it's, it's you know, had a long life, I think. It's been moved around, bumped around. It's been pretty brutal. So it was about time we replaced those drives anyway. And I think what I should have done was actually ordered a couple more of these because most of my drives that have survived all the moves are on that, you know, on about a four year life cycle, or well, I shouldn't say life cycle, they're on about a four year um, time time frame here of within all those moves, because I bought them all at relatively the same time. And who knows what the other ones are doing. So I actually need to run smart reports on those as well. All right, so um, I guess enough looking at this stuff. Let's go ahead and head over to the master bedroom closet and stick in this 10 terabyte hard drive. Actually, so I almost forgot one thing. We actually have to stop the um, server and array first before we can just like start putting drives in and out. Um, so thankfully the order of which the drives are in their trays also matches the order of which the drives appear in Unraid. So it makes it really easy uh, for, from like a hot swap standpoint, hot swap standpoint. Um, so we're gonna stop, we gotta get the array stopped first. And then um, once that's done, we'll walk over there. No, uh, it's taking a long time. So if you're not really familiar with the uh, procedure, um, the way I always think about it is you stop the array, 
um, you unassign the drive that you want to swap with. So in this case, it's gonna be parity two. Actually, come on over here so we can take a look. Yeah, okay, so now that you guys have a better view, um, so in this case, it's gonna be parity two. So we're just gonna go ahead and say no device. Uh, it's gonna give us a warning, hey, parity two is missing, that's okay. Um, what we're gonna do is, so it's giving us a warning here down here too. It says, hey, if you start this, um, wait, start will disable the missing disk and bring the array online, install a replacement disk. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. So this is basically just warning us like, hey, are you sure you wanna do this? Not recommended, not a big deal. And once the array starts, Okay, boom. So we're actually missing our second parity disk. So actually, this brings up a very good opportunity for us because we know we need to replace disk two and we don't have a second parity disk here. What we should do is actually stop the array again. No, that. It can't be, that's gotta be too risky. We'll see what happens. We're gonna stop the array. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna break my own, I'm gonna break my own array and lose all this data. This is not a good idea. All right, so we have, I don't know if I'm supposed to do this. Can I just take, can I just take this eight terabyte drive and stick it in place of my two terabyte without having dual parity anymore? No, there's no way. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, this is a terrible idea. Why am I doing this? Let's see what happens if I do no device. So I'm anticipating now that I've disabled um, disk two that it's actually going to tell me that um, that disk is being emulated. At least I hope that's what it says. Not installed. Device is disabled, come on. Yeah, okay, so device is missing, disabled, contents emulated. So I think what that means is we can take out our eight terabyte hard drive and slap it in place here and start the array with that and then let it do a rebuild. Oh, I'm getting more errors. Disk two in error state. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's go do that and hope I didn't really screw the pooch. I do not do what I just did. Do not do what I just did. I have never done this before. This wasn't originally my plan. My plan was to switch the eight terabyte, I'm sorry, put the 10 terabyte hard drive and place the eight terabyte drive first. Let Unraid do its thing, you know, parity sync, blah, 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 blah. And then take that eight terabyte hard drive and then replace the five terabyte hard drive and let Unraid do its thing. So we're doing things kind of incorrectly, I think, right now. And I'm scared. I'm actually really nervous. Um, let's, let's, let's go. All right, so I apologize for the bad lighting. We are back in the master bedroom closet where I am temporarily, temporarily keeping my servers. And we just got to find the right set of keys here because I have tons of keys. I should label these keys. How do you label keys? Now that I found the right key, I think what we, so it should be, um, let's see. Parity zero, which is 10 terabyte, eight terabyte, disc one, disc two. So we need to take this disc out and the, the server's powered off by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Dang it, now I need a screwdriver. <sighs> I'll be right back. When in doubt, get your iFixit kit out. Trademarked, by the way. Partita, or <laughs> spixlives.com. Okay, so that's our bad drive. Now we need to grab our eight terabyte. And this one, I'm just gonna slide out and then literally slide it in the place of where the five terabyte was. Again, please do not do what I do. I don't know why I do the things I do. I'm just crazy like that, I guess. And uh, anyway, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab this beast and plop it in here. And as soon as I get my second 10 terabyte drive in the server, we're gonna power it up and then hope that uh, Unraid decides to boot, or Unraid boots up without me needing to go get a graphics card or anything like that because I don't have one. And it's just not, and it's also not just getting a graphics card, it's also I have to go get a monitor, power, cables, blah, 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 blah. And I just don't wanna do that. I just want it to work. Normally it does just work, but you can't ever be too sure with non-server-grade hardware. 
No offense, Asus, but y'all need to get on it. All right, let's get this thing booted. It's powered on, get it locked. And since we're in here and Spencer has been bothering me on Twitter, all right, Spencer, I'm putting my Unread logo or sticker or whatever this thing is called on here. Obviously, there's not a nice place to put it on the servers because, you know, this is there's got vents on the front and this thing is massive, which is awesome, but it's massive, so I have nowhere to put it. So I guess I'm going to put it... Oh, that's too big there, too. Dang it. All right, guys, I don't know. We need to figure out where we're going to put this thing. Maybe we should put it on the back of my car. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, this thing's booting up. Let's get back to the lab. All right, it is do or die time now. Yes, thank God. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So we have uh, Parity 2. Looks like it's unassigned still, which I think is good. I hope it's good. And then we have this two, which is still unassigned, and it is still telling us the contents is being emulated. Um, I, okay, we, we can see the 10 terabyte drive and the eight terabyte drive as well, so that's good. So now we're just gonna pop down here and well, bam there's the eight terabyte drive. We're gonna assign that. We are going to start the array, and fingers crossed, hopefully it just does a rebuild and nothing too crazy, hopefully. And let's see what this says here. Device contents emulated, click to spin down device. Uh, and it's going to do, it looks like this is working. It's doing a parity sync slash data rebuild in progress. And that's gonna take about 14 hours and 25 minutes. Um, so that pretty much wraps things up here. We're just going to let this run for the next 14 hours and then check back in, hopefully when it's done. And then once that's done, then I'll show you guys, um, how to add another 10 terabyte drive as a parity disc number two. Not that we need dual parity, but it seems like that worked out pretty good because it saved us some time there, but I also am not entirely sure I did that right. Anyway, see you in 14 hours. Peace. Okay, so it's been well over 19 hours and we are finally done. So let's take a look at what's there is to do. So if we look here on the dashboard page, um, well, actually, not me on the dashboard page, back up, let's go back to the main page. So on the main page, uh, we can see it took about 19 hours to get that drive uh, swapped over, and it was like, what, running at 146 megabytes per second? And it's done, but we're only on single parity, which dual parity and single parity doesn't seem to matter, because uh, as far as I can tell, I didn't lose any data, but I don't know. Uh, so what we're going to want to do now is actually stop the array so we can add uh, this 10 terabyte hard drive uh, back to the array. So I'm just going to go ahead and stop. Yes, I'd like to stop. Doing the unraid dance while I wait. It's not real, but it feels like it. Takes forever. All right, it's finally done stopping all the services and probably all the dockers. That's probably actually what's taking so long. And now we are going to assign that 10 terabyte drive. All existing data on this device will be overwritten when the array is started. That's okay, because there's not any data on it anyway. So we're gonna hit start and littering and Littering and littering and I guess this is actually loading and loading and oh, okay there we go. Um and I guess we're done. Nineteen hours. Nineteen hours again. Holy cow. Well, I'm pretty sure that's done here. Um if anything goes wrong, I'll make another video uh and kind of describing my thoughts on what may have gone wrong and try to figure out like, you know, what I did wrong. Actually, I think I did everything wrong. 
but that's besides the point. Uh, so we'll make another video about what I did wrong and ways to not do that. Or wait, not do what I did. And that, that way would obviously just read the, the. <laughs> that way would obviously be just to read the documentation. So we're done here and I guess I'll see you all next time on the very next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I don't know if you guys can see me or not.